Players are teeing it up at Cog Hills Dubs Dread Course this week for the penultimate event in the PGA Tour playoffs for the FedEx Cup. Welcome to PGA Tour Today, presented by World Mastercard. The top 70 players in the FedEx Cup standings are in Chicago and ready to compete for the BMW Championship Trophy. But that isn't the only trophy they have on their mind. Welcome to PGA Tour Today, I'm Wynn McMurray. This is the final chance for players to improve their position and chances of winning the FedEx Cup. And after the season-long race, the last event before the Tour Championship couldn't be staged at a more prestigious tournament. First contested in 1899, the BMW Championship, previously known as the Western Open, is the oldest PGA Tour tournament in existence. Nationally, only the U.S. Open boasts a longer lineage. But the event is no stranger to new blood. In 2008, Camilo Vajegas became the first ever player to win for the first time on tour at one of the PGA Tour playoff events. He returns at 11.14 a.m. Eastern Thursday to the BMW Championship to defend his title, but won't be defending on the same course where he won. The Coghill Dubs Dread design was constructed in 1964, but was redesigned by Reese Jones after the 2007 BMW Championship. That year, Tiger Woods made the tournament his first playoff victory on his way to becoming the winner of the inaugural FedEx Cup. This year, Woods will be looking for his fifth BMW trophy. And he's also looking to take back the number one position in the FedEx Cup standings after Steve Stricker grabbed the coveted spot with his victory at the Deutsche Bank Championship. Tiger and Stricker, who graduated from the nearby University of Illinois, tee off together at 11.03 Thursday morning. Both players entered the PGA Tour playoffs for the FedEx Cup in the top five and will retain their positions inside the coveted top five. Those first five spots are critical to control your own destiny to win the FedEx Cup with a victory at the Tour Championship. And any player in the field this week could move into the top five with a victory in Chicago. Former BMW Championship winners Jim Furyk from 2005 and Scott Verplank from 1985 are hoping they will gain access into the top five this week. Both enter the third playoff event off top ten finishes at last week's Deutsche Bank Championship. Also rounding into form in recent weeks is Padraig Harrington, who failed to qualify for the Tour Championship in 2008, despite winning the year's final two major championships. He has finished inside the top ten in all four of his last starts and tees off Thursday at 10.52. All four of this year's major champions are in the Coghill field, though Stort Sink at 25th in the standings and Angel Cabrera at 22nd are on the bubble and in danger of not advancing to the Tour Championship. Outside of the magic number 30 are Camilo Vajegas, Sergio Garcia, and Anthony Kim. Last year, the three finished second, third, and fourth respectively in the FedEx Cup standings. The PGA Tour Network's Bob Stevens joins us from the site of the third playoff event with a look at Cog Hill. When this is not your daddy's Cog Hill that they're playing this week for the BMW Championship, a $5 million Reese Jones renovation over the last couple of years has this course toughened up considerably. 22 under par, the Tiger shot to win here two years ago. I just don't see it happening. The bunkers are significantly deeper. Reese has put his mounding into brand new greens, so the guys who played here year in and year out are not going to have the advantage of knowing the greens. They're really quite a bit different. Routing is pretty much the same. And the neat thing about this course, and particularly this year, is they're going to be able to dial this course as long or short as they want it. It can play back to 7,600 yards all the way back from the tips, but there are five different tee boxes on every tee. So uh, the guys are going to have a chance to uh, maybe play shorter holes, maybe play some longer holes as we go along. It's going to be quite a different kind of course. Reese Jones telling me he wants these guys to have to think their way around it. Oh, these guys, after three weeks of playoff golf, their heads are going to be hurting come Sunday. We'll have all the action, of course, on the PGA Tour Network, beginning at noon Eastern on Thursday. Thanks, Bob. First round coverage can also be seen on the Golf Channel Thursday from 3 to 6 p.m. Eastern. PGATour.com has live at coverage as well from the par 5 15th beginning at 1230. And don't forget to enter at FedExCup.com for a chance to win an international dream golf trip for you and three guests to one of five beautiful countries. Your World MasterCard comes with rewards, offers, and perks that matter to you. 
Whether it's tee time reservations at Premier Golf Courses or tickets to the big game, you decide what's in your perfect world. Offers may vary. Go to priceless.com world and register for more details. 